When I was younger, one of the things I really enjoyed doing was taking photographs, but due to the poor state of my finances at the time, a roll of film was uh, was uh, really difficult to come by, and uh, when I did manage to get my hands on a roll, I had to uh, get the 24 exposure roll. You know, in those days, 35 millimeter film came in either 24 exposures or 36 exposures. I seem to recall they had 12 exposure uh, rolls also, but they weren't as common. And uh, I would shoot that film for maybe a couple of weeks. The, the difference between how I used to shoot my photographs back then and now is that with film, because it was so expensive, I really had to think about every shot. I just didn't want to waste it. You know, with digital, you take a shot, you don't like, you look at it right away, you don't like it, you shoot it over. So I decided to challenge myself this week by kind of going back in time and pretending that I'm shooting a, you know, 24 exposure roll of film. And I'm going to try to focus more on each shot. And I decided to come here to Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in, uh, Sleepy Hollow, New York, uh, home of the old Dutch church, which is down there, burial place of Washington Irving, among other people, uh, to, to just kind of look for interesting things to take photos of and see if I can limit myself to 24 exposures, 24 photos, that's it. If I, if I shoot something that's, you know, out of focus, blurry, whatever, then that's what I'm going to live with. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So pretty uh, famous people are buried in the cemetery, the the Carnegies. You may remember Leona Helmsley, who uh, when she passed away, she left twelve million dollars to her dog. She's here somewhere. Anyway, I'm just getting started. So let me uh, let me see what I can uh, what I can find. So I'm shooting this morning with the my Fuji XT1, which is the closest I have to a uh, film camera. It's actually got great Fuji film simulations in it, so I think I'll be shooting in uh, uh, Velvia today, which is a kind of a nice uh, film simulation, which has pretty nice vivid colors, and uh, I, like, I like the looks of it. So I don't have any ND filter or anything fancy on the camera because I didn't have any of that stuff when I was uh, 17 so we're just uh, we're just trying to be as as uh, authentic as possible and and shoot the way I would have shot back then I like that cannon right there and the uh, the bridge in the background over the Hudson River. Let's see if I can get down low here, get the cannon and the bridge. No, I don't like that shot, so I'm not going to take it. There's a monument there to uh, the... Um, Union soldiers, Civil War Union soldiers. So let me see if I can get that monument and the flag in the same shot. I'll have to shoot shoot this vertically. Let's get in a little tighter. The shadows are kind of harsh. I don't know if I like this one or not.
Worst map I've ever seen. Okay, okay, you guys. Irving? Oh, oh. Mr. Irving is down. Oh, this really? Way. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that far. Okay. At all. We were looking for Poets Mound. Uh, yeah, that's another one on on my list, but Yeah, he's uh he and his entire company his his has two uh, American flags on either side of oh, it. Oh okay. And then the gate says Irving in the front. So it's around this way? Like around this way. Down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no Good luck. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs>